There is new concern in the banking sector this morning following the failure of multiple banks this month. First Republic, until recently the 14th largest bank, saw its shares plunge yesterday despite a $30 billion lifeline from 11 other banks. The news comes as the Federal Reserve is considering another interest rate hike. Jill Schlesinger joins us now to talk about it. Jill, good morning. Good morning. So front page of the Wall Street Journal, uh, Journal Diamond, as in Jamie, pursues more aid for First Republic. It's on the brink of collapse. Should people be worried? Well, I think we have to all be worried about this. This is not something we encounter where medium-sized banks of a couple hundred billion dollars in assets are having runs on their asset base. But here's what I think is important. First Republic, like Silicon Valley Bank, had this large percentage of uninsured deposits, meaning a lot of people had accounts with more than the $250,000 FDIC insurance limit. Now, as other banks were failing, remember that the Fed came in and the Treasury Department said, we're going to insure everybody, everyone more than 250. But they haven't made that similar announcement for other banks. That means that despite 11 banks putting $30 billion into First Republic, $70 billion has left that bank this month. And I think that that's what's cause for concern. The idea that maybe these 11 banks, which put $30 billion in, may try to do something to help the bank out, that's actually good. And also we have comments that were just released where Janet Yellen's going to deliver a speech later today. And there is sort of an implicit comment that she put out that said, hey, if other banks that are systemically important run into a problem, we're probably going to backstop those folks over 250. All right, let's talk about the Fed, which is meeting today uh, to decide whether or not to raise interest rates again. Will they? What are you hearing? Well, uh, the, the idea here is that inflation still remains high. OK, we know that. And the Federal Reserve is very clear they need to fight inflation. The inflation rate, 6 percent year over year. Now, the problem is with the instability in the banking system, a lot of people are saying, hey, go on pause, just wait, chill out for a meeting. The problem is, I think that if the Fed were to do that, it sends a signal that they are spooked about what's going on. And if we are really believing that this is mostly about confidence and we need to shore up confidence, I hear that the most likely path for this two-day meeting is a quarter of a percentage point increase whether or not you think that's good or bad, I think that's what's most likely. That way the Fed can sort of say, hey, we're dealing with inflation, but we're not raising rates by so much that's going to further crimp the banking system. Markets seem to agree with you. It was up big yesterday. Jill Schlesinger, thank you very much. Sure. As always, great to have you.